If you come to Italy, you gotta have ice cream, gelato. Well, I'm in Florence, I'm gonna hit up one, two gelaterie today. One in the center and one, well, right there. Stick with me in the rest of the video, I'm gonna give you all the details about where to go and what to do. This is bad today. Look at this. I didn't get enough froth in the milk. It's too liquidy. Does that even make sense? <laughs> froth in the milk? Liquidy? I should have gotten more air bubbles in there. I, I dipped the nozzle underneath the surface of the milk as I was frothing too quickly. <clears throat> Whoa, it's a proper cold day outside today. But Maybe a day for uh, ice cream or gelato. But I have a confession to make. You see, I really don't like ice cream. Not even the Italian gelato. I know, it's true, I don't. What about you? Drop in comments down below. Do you like ice cream? Do you like gelato? Today, I'm gonna take you to what they say are some of the best ice cream shops, gelaterias in Florence, Italy, and stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna talk about the magic of Italian gelato. Now let's go get going to get some ice cream. Ponte Vecchio, get your Duomo down there and walking into the center. Beautiful Monday morning. It's great, the sun's out. A lot less people than on Sunday. I'm making my way back into the center. I was there the other day. I gotta go back to the post office to mail a package and pay a bill. Then I'll get to the gelateria. If you're ever in Florence, this is one of the places you gotta come. This is the old market here, and this is where all the leather purse bag vendors. You can buy a belt, a lot of racket up there. And also over there is the famous Porcellino. It, you roll a dime or nickel or euro off its nose. If it goes in the fountain or not, there's something about fortune and, and good luck. Oh, the good smell of leather in there, just over here next to the post office. It's done, it felt like it took an eternity. All right, now we're gonna go find this first gelateria. It's one I looked up that's supposed to be pretty good here and it's right in the center. It's called Perché No. Steps away from Piazza Repubblica, the Duomo's down that way and here we are, Perché No. Kento Be Oh, I can't pronounce the name of that street. I'll put the links to all these down below. Gelateria Perché No. Let's get inside and have some. <laughs> Chocolate with rum and orange. Maybe I could change my outlook on gelato. Good. That's Chiro, and he's just explaining that his gelato he promises me it's all artigianale, made with only locally sourced ingredients, made by hand in the back there every morning, and they're quite famous world around, especially in Asia. With have four stores in Korea, Perkeno is worldwide. Why not? Some tangerine here. Oh, you just get the flavor of the fruit itself. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that was all right. That was all right for someone who doesn't normally like gelato or ice cream. Now, I have another one to go to, so we're gonna go to that one and get filled up on ice cream. Gelato ice cream is usually something for the summertime, but today at least is a sunny day, so I can get away with eating a little bit of uh, ice cream gelato right over that way. It's the second ice cream shop we're going to, and it's a famous one. We're gonna get to it now. It's on the south side of the river here in Florence. The other one's on the north side, the, the proper center of Florence. A lot of racket over there. We're gonna get over there, crossing the bridge there, and we're on target. Here it is, La Caraya, Gelateria Caraya. We're getting in there. I always see so many people outside this place, so it must be good. My second one, mango and salted peanut. It's a good combination. <laughs> Not too bad either. And also, I just tried a little sample of their schiacciata. It's this famous salted, oily bread in Florence, and they made it into an ice cream. Ah, I wouldn't recommend it. What do you think? The best gelateria in town? Yes. yes, 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 yes. What flavors did you get? Um, yogurt and Nutella and Nutella. <laughs> yogurt and cookies. Enjoy. Just met the owners, Eleonora and her husband, Massimo. They've been in business here for 30 years, and this is quite a popular spot because right in here you have the river, so a lot of the students come here, they grab a gelato, especially during the summertime. This place is packed, and they just chill out there along the river, and you should do it too. Get your gelato. Where's my gelato? <laughs> 
and head outside. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it today because it's too damn cold outside. A little bit of information, they're open every day, hours. From 11 o'clock in the morning, so you can get your fix right at 11 o'clock, right before lunch, to midnight, you can chill out after you had dinner, get a gelato, that's what the Italians do, they get a gelato after dinner, and then they do the passeggiata. They just walk around aimlessly around town. If you see someone walking around aimlessly, they're probably Italian. Patient first and uh, uh, berry. Berry. It's, and, supposed, uh, it's supposed to be the best in Florence. That's natural, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Whoa, two Italian ice creams in the space of one hour. Whoa, my head is spinning around like the blades of a helicopter. <laughs> It was good, both places were good, but we're gonna get into all those details, but first, coffee time. <laughs> you knew I was gonna come here. Mm. Just, what's that? Just what I need after a couple of gelatos. What's the difference between gelato and ice cream? Do you know? Gelato has more milk and less cream than they use in ice cream. That's typically the difference between gelato and ice cream. The other thing they have here is of course sorbetto and that's made without milk. And then also many of these places do milk alternatives like soy ice cream as well. Let's talk about the price because it's a bargain. You get that ice cream just for two euro and that's for two scoops on a cone. That is a bargain. I'm not sure what you're paying for Baskin Robbins in the United States or a Brahms if you go to one of those in the United States. But here it's a lot less expensive and it's a deal to be had so get as much gelato as you want you can also have it put in a styrofoam uh, container to take it away and eat it at home I still got chocolate on my teeth and have you been to Italy and had gelato what's your favorite flavor or at home what is your favorite flavor of coffee that's my gelato experience <laughs>